Hi, my name is uh, Robert Falcon Lad, Member of Parliament for Winnipeg Centre. I'm here in Winnipeg. I just got off the plane a few short hours ago and I'm here down at uh, beside the Convention Centre where an event is going on. Uh, it's uh, in conjunction with the National Conference to End Homelessness, which is happening here. Uh, we have representatives uh, from across the country who have come here to Winnipeg. Uh, to discuss what we should be doing as a nation, as a country, uh, for public policy around how to help end homelessness and to eradicate it um, from all cities and from all rural municipalities. And uh, behind me right now is something that usually happens at the end or in the middle of September, but this year is happening in uh, near the end of October. So a little bit more chilly, a little bit more realistic. And so what's happening behind me right now is a CEO sleep out. And so usually every year for the num past number of years, CEOs and other um, people of Winnipeg have gotten together to raise funds for homelessness here in Winnipeg. And uh, I've had the opportunity to participate in the last few years and, and, uh, and to see the growth of this, but also to see the growth in the awareness surrounding this issue. Um, we've gone from not having a true understanding of the homelessness issue in Winnipeg to having uh, a much better understanding, knowing that we actually have uh, doing a survey and a census of homelessness in Winnipeg, which was conducted uh, just um, oh, last year. And, uh, and I was proud to be part of the government, which helped fund that census to make sure we actually had good data, so science really does matter. But part of that was learning we actually have 1,400 homeless people in the city of Winnipeg, in, for instance, in Winnipeg a Center itself. And for me, that's important because that represents one out of almost 50 people who can vote in the riding. People who have housing difficulties, people who are with Main Street Project, Salon Mission, Salvation Army, and many other organizations uh, across the city who are working all together uh, to try and eradicate homelessness. And so I was very proud to hear that uh, my colleague, another member of Parliament from Toronto, Adam Vaughan, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Housing uh, and, uh, and Families, was here in Winnipeg and, and talked about how he's trying to build a strategy to get $40 billion. And I'm proud to have worked with him and pushed him and, and pushed the Minister as well to try and get these funds. But $40 billion over 10 years to work on a housing strategy that, that will transform what we do in this country. And so I'm here right now. I'm going to be going to bed. It's probably around one o'clock in the morning, uh, Friday, early Friday morning. Um, and um, you know, it, this is uh, uh, obviously I don't have to deal with this every day. Uh, this is something that, uh, if you are homeless, you know, you sleep out in these conditions all the time, year round. And in winter, you know, it starts getting harder. And I think this is actually much more realistic for a, a lot of the participants. Because usually at the end of or mid September, you know, it's often quite nice. Uh, you know, it might be a little bit chilly, but it's uh, a lot more people participate. This year, there's a few less that are here, but nonetheless, these are the hardy, hardy ones that have, have are sticking it out. And so, um, I'm looking forward to working with the Salon Mission, Salvation Army, uh, Main Street Project, all other organizations, and people who are interested in this, to try and really eradicate homelessness from Winnipeg, to house people, to find a way to get people off the streets, to find them the care and the mental health uh, care that they need, to ensure that uh, we actually look after each other. And so, uh, and we create a great city, because at the end of the day, that's what we all want. We want a, a downtown where people feel comfortable to come, but we also want a, a downtown and a city where every one of us feels welcome. So, Tapwe Aki Kituam, keep up the good work, and if you want to learn more, you can donate to CEO, uh, the CEO Sleepout 2017, you can go to their website. So, uh, thank you very much, Tapwe.